So for those of you who have been following my channel a long time, uh, you will remember that a couple of years ago I did two different videos about mystery series I wanted to try. And I did have a third video actually all set to film of more mystery series that I wanted to try. But I realized I am in the middle of 22 series. <laughs> so I thought maybe I should finish some before I started more. So I have made a goal to finish five mystery series before I start any more, okay? So I'm filming this, I'm holding myself accountable. I tried to have some variety and the ones that I picked, I picked a couple that I'm closer to the end of the series. Um, and also I'm counting it if I am up to date, that counts for me. So either up to date or completed, depending on if the series is still being written. And the first series that uh, this will not be hard, since there are only two books that I have to go, is Ruth Rendell's Inspector Wexford series. So I only have two books. I've talked about this series a lot. It is a psychological series. It, you really get in the head of the victims, the killers, and the police inspectors, um, their families, all of that. I just, I adore this series. I just love the tone of it. And I can't believe I only have two left, but I'm really looking forward to seeing exactly how she finishes. Uh, even though she did say she was never going to write a last Inspector Wexford. So in a way I'm kind of relieved because when I'm done, I can just imagine him, you know, continuing on with his cases. And then the second is Louise Penny's Three Pines series. I think off the top of my head, I have three to go, but there's also one set to come out in November. So I imagine by the time I'm done with this, at least that one will be out. And then um, she's, as far as I know, I'm going to continue writing for uh, several more years, uh, many more years, hopefully, but I will just try to stay as up to date as I can on that one. And I think that will count. Uh, then the next one, one that uh, has one still coming out is the Maisie Dobbs series. This is a historical fiction uh, this is a historical mystery series uh, that spans from right after World War I, and now I know the books are coming out during World War II. Uh, I am still before World War II in this series. I think I have read seven um, or maybe eight. Anyhow, I still have, I think, like eight to go. So it's she's released a lot, um, and I just really do love this series, and especially I love that I can access the audiobooks of this. So that is really how I read this series. Um, I just really love the narrator and I'm looking forward to carrying on. And I've just come to adore the character of Maisie and how she really uses her gut feelings and her intuition to help her solve cases. And also to see a little romance happening, hopefully. Um, and yeah, we'll just see how things go for Maisie. But I also have come to really be invested in the side characters in this. And I like that you get to see those in each book and see different progressions in all of them. Then the fourth series, I wanted to pick a modern cozy series. So one that I could just, you know, it would just be so easy to read. And that is the Agatha Raisin series by M.C. Beaton. Uh, Agatha Raisin is quite the uh, divisive character. She's sardonic. Uh, she is abrasive. She's aggressive, um, but she's also really good at investigating murders. And I just, I really enjoy this series. I know exactly what I'm going to get when I, you know, read it. I just love it so much. And there are some recurring characters and she has so much um, like romantic drama and I love it. So she is retired and she moves out to the Cotswolds and she thinks she wants this quiet little life, but then she ends up being terribly bored. But then she finds that she still loves this town and murders keep happening to keep her busy. So I find, you know, if you read the first one and you don't like it, I can pretty much safely say like, you won't like the series. Uh, you know what you're going to get from there on out. So yeah, I really enjoy the series and I find Agatha hysterical, but I really do understand people who she just like puts them off. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to continuing on with that. And I have a fair amount, I think maybe 12 to finish in that. 
Then moving on, I wanted a Golden Age series to kind of scratch that itch. And so I picked that I would finish the Hercule Poirot series. So I think I am only five into this, and I think there might be over 30 of these. So I have a ways to go with these. But the one of the other reasons why I picked this series is this is one that's really easy for me to access on ebook. And that's one that I can just you know, we're at the park, I can pick up my phone and read a couple chapters. It's really easy for me to make my way through these. And so I think between the varieties of the more psychological literary mysteries of Ruth Rendell and Louise Penny, and then the historical mysteries with um, Macy Dobbs and modern mindless, you know, cozies, just really frivolous reads of Agatha Raisin to the Golden Age Mysteries with Hercule Poirot. I think that'll be some nice variety and I really would like to complete some of these series before I just keep adding on endless amounts of mystery series to try. So uh, I'm going to try to do that and stick to that before I start any others and we'll see how successful I am. I think I can do it because I do really adore all of these. Um, and if I decide, you know, I don't adore these, I. I don't feel bad just stopping a series, but I want to be intentional with my reading um, and just have some that I can say I finish all of them. So yes, that is the next in my mystery series on mystery series I must finish before starting new ones, and I'll be back with another mystery video soon.